in this video I'm going to remove the back cover off an HP Envy 17 inch laptop and remove the hard disk drive and replace it with the solid state drive. The first step I'm told is to remove the rubber underneath using a screwdriver which I've already pried up a little bit and now it has a light adhesive on it that can be pulled up the rest of the way that will expose some screws underneath there are three Phillips head screws There are also two, three, four, four Torx screws that are a T5 and I will remove those first. So that is the four. This screwdriver with the Torx, I was able to pick up at Ace Hardware, which has many bits, but it includes T5, which is the one I needed. Notice that the adhesive strip is along the side with the hinges. Now I'll remove the three Phillips head screws. And I'm going to use this pry tool as I understand that there are clips that hold it in place. These screws here are all the same. This pad came with the laptop that I'm using. So just run it along the edge and you'll hear the clips popping and use your fingers also to help pry it up. Oh. 
I just paused the video and restarted it. I had to turn on the computer and eject the DVD drive that is inside to access one last Phillips head screw holding the case on. I remember reading about that in another video. So that is a must do. From there, continue prying up the lid with the pry tool and your fingers. Now you can remove the lid. And the three screws will fall out. The three Phillips head screws. And now you have access to all the components. Here's the hard drive. Using your fingers, pry the connector off slowly. And move it out of the way. and the hard drive will just pop right out. This is the original hard drive. I'm removing it out of the rubber. And now, I will place in one terabyte hard drive that I purchased using the same holes that this rubber is using. There's holes that these little rubber grommets fit in. Rubber studs, rubber. When replacing the hard drive, make sure that the connector lines up with the card, with the side that I'm showing facing. and press it back in place. Now you can line up the connector and press it back on with your fingers. No screws were holding the hard drive in place. Here are the memory slots, the battery, Okay, now we can reassemble it. We'll flip this back over, starting at the top, lining up this edge, and pressing it down into place and hearing it click. They'll be clicking all around. I'll first remove 
or replace the screw underneath the DVD drive. And slide the DVD, DVD drive back in. Now, the three Phillips head screws that were under the rubber foot. And finally, the four T5 size torque screws. When screwing in screws, I found it always best to turn it the opposite way and it will click to let you know that it's going to seat and then you can start rotating it clockwise. Make sure everything is snapped into place as well. There are four T5 screws to go back into place. One last check of all the screws. Including one last check of the tightness of the Phillips heads. Now we'll flip the rubber back on with the adhesive. And there you have it. No one will ever know. Okay. Let's see how it works. This is a really strong hinge. Time to fire it up. And there you have it. Everything seems to be working. Thank you again for watching this video.